you can remove the officer at that point. But I guess, long story short, we're, it's to your appointment and we're kind of stuck with it. it, it, it that's the decision we make. I, ha I have some questions. Um, uh, we're underneath the proposal. Um, the salary where it says 2500 monthly, we're going to, I think there was agreement to go ahead and do 1000 and then if it ends up being more, it can go up to 2500 Yeah, so if, if you look at page 104 on payment, it says the client agrees to pay the contract of $1,000 a month. Uh, and then it goes down to the client agrees to pay the contractor $2,000 a month or pro rata portion thereof during such time, uh, and this is uh, talking about the public health emergency declared by the county commission. Okay, and so, oh, I lost it. Where it was, I think 2,500 so far as expenses, then that'll be paid as, is that it up to? Where are you looking? Uh, I was in the original. What okay. page? Um, I'm sorry. It's it's under the proposal. I didn't know what had happened. Well, to the that. contract is what we're agreeing to. Okay. And this, if if you uh, pass it, and this is on. Uh, this is attached. It's, it should be after the CV, and it's, um, a four-page contract. Okay. I got lost. I'm sorry. Mike, do you know pages. where that is? Is that on here? I don't see it in the contract. I don't remember it being in there. Okay. No. Uh, what Lori's talking about, that was the Derek proposal, but we contract we agreed uh, to do it a little less than the contract okay. for the two thousand a month on the if if the board declares and it's on the board to decide. So he would approach the board, explain, here's what's going on, I'm putting in this much time. Does the, if the board sees fit, would you uh, consider raising my stipend to this amount? And then the board could make a decision at that time by majority vote to increase up to the two thousand. And then we can decrease when it's but at the board's prerogative. Okay. Um, and then I didn't see anything in here, and I didn't know if that went away or what, where there was amount of uh, funds in regards to um, expenses. No, I don't believe that's Okay. Right. Okay. Because I think in the past we kind of took cook tier took care of a lot of that, there's, the county did anyhow. I'm sure if the if, if the public health officer wants to spend county money, he can put it on the agenda with like everybody else. Okay. Would be my feeling on that. All right, those are my questions. I'll make uh, a motion to approve. Okay. I just, uh, just going into this, there's certain conditions in which I have standards when it comes to uh, entering into business agreements with people, and one of those conditions uh, that, that would preclude me from, from entering into a business agreement with someone could exist in this situation, and I can't support it. Well, we do need to have someone, and I hope that on, on both sides there's been lessons learned, and I am going to vote for this. All right, sounds like a motion to me. Do we have a second? I think Richard made the motion. Yeah, oh, you made a motion. Yeah, made so, a motion. Yeah, so, so second. Okay, uh, motion by Richard, second by Lori. All call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Nay. Okay, motion fails. Uh, Darren uh, will not, Mr. Coons will not be appointed as public health officer. Not good. No public comment. Thank you. Item B. Discuss for possible action to authorize County Manager Weevil to draft and release an RFQ for engineering services and select and contract with an engineer to design and coordinate with design, public bidding, pre-construction, acquisition, management, and construction of the aquatic center pump and filtration upgrade and select contractor through the proper public bid process for total cost of project with authorized contract limit for professional engineering and contractor services not to exceed $130,000. Thank you, right here. Our Go ahead, Mike. We, thank you. Uh, the last meeting, I believe it was, we had identified the budget of the board approved to allocate those funds for this upgrade of the aquatic center. So now that it's, uh, we have a budget for it, we have the money, it's been appropriated, it's ready to go. 
Um, I'm asking for the board's approval to go ahead and, and work and release an RQ, identify an engineer, contract an engineer, and then go out and set up a bid and get a contractor in place and work on this over this uh, over the winter season so we can have it ready to go and upgrade it within the next few months. That's fine, and I'm all, all about it. I was, I was just going to comment. Our pool today, because my wife goes there, it's closed because we can't get the water surface to the proper temperature. It needs to have the work done. The pool's eight years old, and there's items that come up that need to be repaired. So this item is a good item to start this project so we can move forward and make sure that pool stays open for our citizens because right now, today, it's closed because it's, the water's too cold. They gotta have that pump in there and get that, and be able to maintain that heat. So I, I didn't mean to inter interrupt you, Mike, it's just my support for this is good because I know that the public's not being able to use it. And we put a lot of money in that pool and general maintenance comes up. Let's face it, everything breaks down or whatever happens over a period of time. So we need to move forward and make sure that our facilities are open for our citizens. And that's just the way it is. So that being said, I didn't mean to interfere or try to cut you off i just wanted to be a voice of support for this item to go forward and fix that up make sure we keep that pool up to date yeah hey can you guys still hear me all right yeah yes so uh thank you richard here's what the reason why the side looks like this is before you had a county manager right you would have an rq be drafted straight across the board you'd approve the rq we send it out get an engineer to put in we grade the engineers come back the board would approve the engineer and board would send the engineer back to public works department. They put together a bid for a contractor, come back to the board, get a contract, select a contractor, then, you know, and that, now that you have a county manager, and whoever it is, um, if the budget is there and the board approves the, the concept, then in this item would delegate the authority for the county manager of public works department and the aquatic center department head to move forward and get these, pursuant to law and all the bid requirements, um, to do it legally to get this going and get it going much quicker and so um, i'd ask the board to consider authorizing me to do these things so i can get this going there's all a handful of other things we're going to be doing the aquatic center this year um, for upgrades i know uh, and you'll see more down the road i'm going to address the bathrooms we're addressing the, the concrete flooring um, and we're just kind of giving it the upgrade it needs and some of that stuff will be on next year's budget we'll discuss that in the spring but this one here right here is a priority Motion to approve. Should I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed unanimous. Okay, I'm going to open item C and D together since they're uh, somewhat one and the same. Uh, discussion for possible action to authorize County Manager Weevil to draft and release an RFQ for engineering services and selecting contract with an engineer to design and coordinate the design, public bidding, pre construction, acquisition, management, and construction of a new golf course county well with an authorized contract limit for professional engineering services, not to exceed 70000 Discuss for possible action to authorize County Manager Weevil to coordinate with selected engineer to place for public bid a contract for the construction of the new golf course county well and to make a selection enter into contract with the drilling contractor for this project with an authorized contract limit not to exceed 450000 Mike? Great. Right. Um, all right. Similarly, these things have been budgets are part of this year's budget. We have the funds in the golf course fund. This is the big project we were trying to get done this summer, but we've been playing around. Um, with a title search to get the city to deed us um, their portion of the golf course so we can invest this money in this infrastructure. Where this is going to go is on the permit on the city side, but I'm working with a couple um, city council members right now. So we can, as soon as we can get the land swap or the land deed, and I'll bring that to you probably the next meeting, uh, we can go ahead and I can jump on this and get it done as quick as possible this winter so that we will not be using city potable water to water the golf course come spring. So again, this is, um, I'm asking to go ahead and authorize me to move forward with these two projects. I did say not to exceed $70,000 for an engineer. I don't think it'll come close to that. I think it's probably around the $10,000, but I, historically engineers are all over the board, whether it's a, it's a percentage of the whole project or whether it's a flat fee. And so I just wanna make sure there's a wiggle room there. I'm not into paying more than we need to pay, obviously. All for motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Passes unanimous on item C and D. Uh, all right. Um, 
Item E, discuss for possible action to authorize county manager Weevil to enter into county contracts in an amount not to exceed 50000 as may be limited by the approval re approved relevant department budgets. Mike Weevil and Kathy Workman. Uh, Mike did uh, visit with me this morning on this. Uh, he said 20000 would uh, would uh, uh, take care of 90% he wants to do. Uh, me personally, I think that's a good 50 I wasn't comfortable with. Uh, just so that the you know the public can have comment and uh, see these items on the agenda, but I, I'd be fine with with 20, and it sounds like that worked for him. So I'll let Mike add up more onto that. And if anyone else has any thoughts, oh, that's precisely it. You know, working with our finance director and looking at different smaller projects here and there around the county, just ten thousand dollars can get you where you used to get. And we, I'm just looking for just a little bit more so we can be a little more efficient. But we got to balance that, of course, with the public wanting to be involved and have that transparency, and that's a really important concern. So while I did put on there, not, not to exceed, that was just for discussion, but I, I think 20000 is more than enough to cover almost anything I need to do. And then and we can always do that uh, quarterly update on what projects we've entered into and what we're working on. So there's some transparency. So, also, you should know that these are for budget items. This is nothing that is. I'm not entering contracts that no one knows about or that wasn't anticipated. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. The 50000 was excessive about too much, but twenty is perfect. I think that it's too much red tape. The smallest item costs ten or $15,000, and having a county manager that knows the contracts as well as he does, I think just utilizing that $20,000 figure is a good figure. I'll make a motion to go ahead and authorize our county manager for up to $20,000. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Pass unanimous. Uh, Mike asked me to table uh, F and G, uh, and then uh, H uh, with Caleb. Uh, Mike said uh, he told them around 10:45, so we'll put a pin in, in that one uh, uh, for now. So we will. Yeah, I'll have uh, I'll have the backup done so that there's better time to review on the letters we did that table. Um, so we'll have that in the, sometime in January. Let me say item H. We want to table it, but I've, I spoke about this before. This is the third time since I'm, every month we're supposed to get a report on this. Now, I did some language. We're, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're not tabling it. He's coming at 1045. Oh, Mike, that's when Mike told him to be here. Okay. Since okay. it wasn't timed out. I'm sorry. I, I, I jumped the gun there because I, I'm really looking strong with this item. No, okay. F, the item F and G before that, so nothing okay. to do with H. Okay, fine. Uh, public hearing discussion only on the county's intention to make an interim loan from the general fund to the state indigent fund uh, 049 in an amount not to exceed 100000 uh, Cap. Submitted to the Ely Times for publication on 12 9 22 edition. Notice of public hearing um, on the intention to make an interim loan. Notice is hereby given to that the Board of County Commissioners of White Pine County, State of Nevada will act on a resolution to provide FY23 interfund loan from the general fund to the state indigent fund 049 in the amount of 100,000. The total amount of the loan from the general fund shall not exceed 100,000, shall be repaid to the general fund within one year, and shall not be charged any interest. The public hearing on this interfund loan shall be held in the meeting in the White Pine County Library Conference Room, 950 Kansas Street, Ely, Nevada, on December 14th at 9.45, or as soon thereafter as practical, at which time all persons may attend and be heard prior to the meeting. Written comments may be filed with the clerk of the board and will be considered. In addition to the amounts <coughs> provided, in addition to the amounts provided in the notice of public hearing above, the following information is pertinent. To the public hearing. A sufficient amount of money is available in the general fund for this loan outlined in the notice of the public hearing. Cash in the general fund as of November 30th, 2022 is 14502314 Of the 14502314 available, 6502314 is not restricted as it is used and can be utilized for interfund loans. Uh, the loan of money will not compromise the economic viability of the general fund. The loan shall be repaid within one year, shall bear zero interest, and payment 
shall be made as soon as practical after July 1st, 2023, after funds have been budgeted. All right, um, since it is a public hearing, 